Uh, hello, it's Adam here from Setup Systems, and today we have a Skoda Octavia um, 2015 model. Um, and the customer came to us um, with an issue that the system is shutting down intermittently uh, while he's driving, where he's stationary, and so on. Uh, so this is 2015 model, which has a MIB system, uh, generation one. Uh, Pro version, so it's the big 8 inch screen in the car and the head unit is here um, Now the system shuts down randomly in the car. We've done already uh, further tests uh, Eliminating the screen eliminating other things on the circuit that could be causing it uh, We've and we are investigating the issue usually it is to do with um, Something to do if it's nothing on the power circuit usually it's um, to do with the head unit and we're going to investigate further what is causing the intermittent fault probably some error on the motherboard or something else or some error connections and so on uh, funny enough the diagnostic computer is not showing in not revealing any um, errors it's showing that it's, there's no fault codes um, so this, these are very uh, quite common issues that we get on Volkswagen, Audis, Skoda uh, cars that uh, come to us and um, usually uh, customers um, when they go with this kind of uh, failure um, to the main dealerships um, they cannot really help by repairing it they can only replace it and the cost of these units to replace is in thousands of pounds we of course offer repair service uh, of the faulty bit in the in the component rather than the whole replacement of the whole thing and obviously that uh, translates to a savings significant amount of money and enjoying the whole system again um, so we'll reveal uh, as soon as we find uh, the issue will reveal uh, what's going on um, and show you fully working system fortunately because it's random and it's intermittent I cannot show when it's shutting down here uh, but believe me this system does shut down um just intermittently right hello um we're back in the skoda now and um we've identif identified the problem with the main unit it was the motherboard that was causing the issue uh of intermittently shutting down and so on um customer didn't want to proceed with the repairing that unit um because um, he preferred to use one of the alternative options which we also offered as a solution and instead of having a pro system now he's got the standard system um, in there which still works with the full main uh, big screen but in addition of having navigation he also has now um, a smart link or which is called a way of uh, calling Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So he wanted really that option, which wasn't available with his original unit. So even if we would have gone to repair it, he would still not have this option. Now he's got it. He's got the full Apple CarPlay Android Auto option in the car. All the rest of the features still working. He's got the navigation uh, fully working. We've also uploaded our speed cameras to the system. So in addition of having latest maps, you also get the speed cameras. Uh, and this is, um, so there are always solutions, always ways to go with repairs. As I said, you could have gone to the dealer and probably pay thousands of pounds to have this uh, replaced. They wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to repair it. We offered a repair service, which the customer all replacement for other options and uh, customers gone for the um, generation two because the his original unit the pro system was generation one now he's got generation two system that fully works with everything in the car no features lost in addition he's got the um, mi he's got the smart link android auto um, and um, apple carplay he's got the navigation still utilizing the main main big screen um and another happy customer so yeah if you've got any issues with any volkswagen audi sat or skoda cars get in touch because it's really worth con you know going through all the options that you can have uh, repaired or replaced rather than uh, going and paying um the full amount for just a replacement uh, of the main system thank you